It may be a little slower for those driving across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, at least on the southbound side over the next few days, and this is why. A barge slammed into that span. These pictures come from Chopper 10 shortly after the accident. Lieutenant on your side's Walter Hildebrand shows us what happened and what's next for the CBBT. From Chopper 10, you can see the barge that hit the southbound span of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. The impact happened early this morning, about three quarters of a mile south of the Third Island. It wasn't a runaway barge or anything like that. They were under tow with a tugboat and just had operator error, basically. It wasn't unusual to be this close to the span. The barge operated by Skanska taking part in scour remediation. That's where rocks and concrete are dropped around the pylons to strengthen the trestles beneath the bridge. Caused fairly uh, significant damage to that one particular pile, although not to the rest of the structure. We haven't been able to ascertain as of yet what kind of uh, repair methodology that we'll need to use. We've had some divers uh, from Crofton Diving inspecting the pile all the way from the bay bottom up just to make sure that there's nothing else going on below the waterline that we can't see in addition to, to what's obvious above the waterline. To be on the safe side, crews closed that section of the southbound span for a while. Drivers had to alternate with northbound vehicles for most of the morning. The big question now, is it safe for drivers? Certainly while it needs to be repaired, it's safe for vehicles to drive on the southbound span, but we're having them stay you know, to the right-hand lane on that section of the facility, just to not put any extra stress on, on the left-hand side where the, the damaged pile was at. The good news is it shouldn't take long to fix, and all we're told it should take about five days. In Virginia Beach, Walter Hildebrand, 10 on your side. Skanska, the company doing the restoration, will be responsible for repairs to that bridge. We'll keep you posted.